Does that hurt, Daddy? Hi, it's Paul from Wicked Acorn. We're here in Fletcher Moss Park. But who are these little green men? Unlike yours truly, these foreign invaders can't trace their roots back to this country. They're ring-necked parakeets, and they're native to Southeast Asia. There's been a lot of talk about them on social media lately. People thinking they're somebody's lost parrot. But they're not. They've been living in the wild in this country for many years. It's been estimated that there are as many as 30,000 making permanent residence here. Most make their home in London, and there's at least a thousand in Manchester. They've made permanent homes in Alexandra Park, Birchfields Park, and Platfields Park. I've also seen them in Sale Water Park. I haven't seen them in Walkden Gardens in Sale, but there's definitely a bird there that's learned how to imitate a car alarm. There are a few theories on how they ended up here, going back as far as the shooting of the movie The African Queen in 1951. Half of the film was shot on location in Africa, and the other half was filmed in the UK. They would have used these little beauties to make England look a little more exotic. At the end of shooting, they probably just released them to the wild to fend for themselves. I started to watch The African Queen when I found out about this. I haven't seen one in the movie yet, but I have heard its distinctive call. By the way, The African Queen won Humphrey Bogart his one and only Oscar. Bogart's character was supposed to have a thick Cockney accent, but the script had to be completely rewritten because he was unwilling to attempt it. The rewrite made the character a Canadian. I'm not sure what part of Canada they thought Bogey sounded like, though. Theory number two is just as colorful as these guys. It's said that Jimi Hendrix released a pair of parakeets on Carnaby Street back in 1968. But it's unlikely that two little lovebirds created over 30,000 parakeets all over the UK in just 50 years. Parakeets are the third most popular pet in the world after cats and dogs. So it makes sense that a few might escape their cages and become naturalized. The most sensible conclusion that zoologists have come up with is that they were caused by either accidental or purposeful release of pets. In fact, they've become an invasive species, posing a threat to other wildlife as they take over the habitat of native species. I first saw them in London in 2016. They're really friendly, they'll even come and feed from your hand. I was really surprised when I saw them in Sale Water Park last year. Let's not let it get out that uh, the southern birds are more friendly than the ones in Manchester. Polly! Polly! Oh, no. He's coming to you, Devin. No, no don't pull it away. That hurt it. You have to hold up your hands higher. Manchester. It hasn't been invaded since the Vikings were here. Hitler tried and failed. Now there are new invaders from the southwest of Asia. 